Hey guys, going on Trebuck here today. We're going to be playing some Farming Simulator 2019 here on the, the Rolling Hills map. And we're going to be doing a lot of stuff today. We're going to be buying some new machinery. We do have a good amount of money. I did go ahead and actually get this little spot all leveled up. So we, you can see that big mound there. I tried to level some of that out to make kind of that road a little bigger, a little taller. And that really didn't work, but we did make this all flat. We made that pretty much all flat. And then we made this so it's able so you're able to drive through it there's no hills or anything just kind of a bank you can get unloaded from there and we got the big large cow shed we're gonna be buying some cows today we got this big old area out here to place down some buildings i think we're actually probably going to do that here shortly we're going to put some more concrete in but we're going to actually go ahead and talk a little bit today about the channel now this channel is going to be not being able to post for February, the month of February. We're not going to post me or Nick or Nick and I aren't going to be aren't going to be posting for February. So therefore, I'm going to go to my channel and be posting on there. If you guys want to check it out, links in the description or in the cards that popped out in the beginning of the video. So if you want to check that out, go over there and you can see my content and see this series continue with all the bigger equipment and all of that I will be posting one more video for the month and then we will probably I'll probably end up quitting squad farms just get off of there and kind of get away from all the drama and kind of start my own community off of my channel with maybe some other youtubers maybe random sparks someone that's you know random's got cool mods you know plays with a bunch of other people and stuff like that or maybe go to Dagoin, probably not Dagoin because he's in different time zones and stuff. It's kind of hard to play with people that are in different time zones because you always got to think about, you know, who else is there. But we'll see how it goes. If we do that, let's see, where am I going with this? I got to go to the hayfield with this. But if we do all that and we get more views, I'll probably stay. And if we bring in more money, I'll probably stay. We're talking about doing two different channels so like squad shouts out so like you have the squad farms channel and then maybe you'll have another squad farms channel like basically two squad farms channels and nick will be on one and i'll be on the other one however that brings up the debate well who's going to be on squad farms because obviously it's a bigger channel so that'll probably we'll be fighting over that i'm sure so that's kind of why i'm just like if we do that then i'm probably just going to leave because there's really no need i'm only posting on this channel for two reasons one to still kind of be in the community and post videos and mainly the one is to make a little bit of income which we're not making a lot me and nick or me nick mainly nick is doing some stuff that isn't right on this channel kind of using it to do some things that aren't right and all of that so that's kind of you know his fault on that part so if the channel's getting reported and i don't really want that bad reputation of oh hey look this guy's been on this channel and it got reported for bullying cyber bullying and all that so i really don't want to be on here for that reason it's kind of silly we're actually going to get this loaded up quick really quick because it shouldn't take too long we only have like one load of hay so all right so we're going to get this loaded up now this is the last set of bales we'll get this all loaded and and I'm pretty sure that's the last of it. We didn't get a whole lot from it. But anyway, so kind of what I was saying before, we're both going to be leaving for February. We're going to be kind of doing our own thing. And we will just kind of do whatever, see how it goes for March. March, I might be back. I might not. I'll probably let you guys know for sure in March and see how it all goes. With that being said, we're going to finish out today's video. If you want to hear some more in tomorrow's video, there'll be one at 7 o'clock, and then that'll be the last video for February. And for January, unless we do a stream, me and Nick are talking about doing a stream together, just kind of Q&A type thing with Squad to kind of answer some of you guys' questions. Not sure how that's going to go, if it'll work or what, but we're going to try and get some stuff set up, get some stuff accomplished on here so you guys can kind of see what it'll look like before because I'm going to be posting all this I'm going to be continuing this series on my channel and the tournament so if you want to see some more of that 
go ahead and go over to my channel links in the description and in the cards or if you guys comment I'll just send it to you I do respond to every comment so if you wondering any questions or curious on anything let me know I will respond to your guys comments so we're gonna go ahead and get in the 89 now I'm planning on buying some bigger equipment the big bud 450 on here we got some drills some planners to buy we're just gonna basically take this and just skyrocket it up so that when I hit my channel when I take all this stuff and put it on my channel then you guys will be able to see it on there trying to promote that as much as I can because I want people to go over there because that'll be my main channel if I do decide to leave this channel I don't know if I will yet haven't decided if we make more money or if we get more views you know it's just I see it as I could do a 30 minute video on my channel every single day but I don't make no money off it I could make money off it I'm gonna try and kinda figure some of that stuff out to see if I can and kinda see how that works I'm gonna see if I can talk to some people try to get monetized and all that I know I could get monetized I'm just not of age but we're gonna actually hire this worker out and get this field right here chiseled up and stuff all right, so we're gonna take the sim out of the house, get the bales unloaded off this trailer. And yeah, then we'll probably start buying some bigger equipment. I'd like to get everything home and put away, so it might be in the next video when we start buying equipment. But anyway, the way I think of my channel kind of benefits me. What I've been doing is posting a 10 minute video on my channel, 10 minute video on this channel, because I'm not going to go over 10, 15, 20 minutes because there's really no need to because you're not getting that much more views so there's no need to work harder at it necessarily. So basically you could record for 30 minutes and have about two videos is kind of what I figured out to be time wise. So like if I was to record 30 minutes of footage right now on this thing I would have a full a full 30 minute video which usually takes about hour maybe sometimes two hours depending on what you're doing in the video normally probably I'd say average would be a full hour of recording would get you about 30 minutes that's just how I record just because I record and then I go do some stuff and then I come back you know kinda skip in and out edit some stuff out stuff like that so I kinda do that a lot and all of that I kinda just do that so basically why post or why work hard for 30 minutes worth of footage when you could go ahead and do 10 minutes worth of footage or 11 or 12 generally I like to do 12 minutes just cause it's kinda you know not 10 minutes not 15 it's kinda in between so that's kinda why I like to do those so See, these are hay bales, so we gotta put them somewhere else. Probably to stack them in here somewhere. Don't know where I am. But anyway, when you do like that, um, when you do a 30 minute video, render it down. Or when you do an hour video, you render it down to 30 minutes or 20. You don't generally get that many more views. You get more watch time, but you don't get any more views than what you normally do. I think I'm just gonna put this hay right here, just kinda right in the front. We'll just have to stay there for now. There's not a whole lot. So you kind of do that, and then you go and do... So then you think, well, why not post on my channel? Get some subscribers, some more views, some, you know, some more comments to read, stuff like that. And do post on both channels for the same amount of work. Well, it does take a little more work, but it's less time. Basically, if I recorded for two hours for both my channels and I got the same amount of views now what's the point of recording for 30 minutes wasting two hours extra time to be doing all this now some of you may understand YouTube some of you may not or don't really necessarily care what happens or what goes on in the YouTube world I kinda generally don't bring you guys into it because it's a lot of thinking and I don't explain things very well so it's kinda hard to explain something to other people when you don't 
when you're not a very good explainer. And right now I'm kind of focusing, so I'm kind of like bouncing in and out. But, so then I could post 10 minutes worth, so then I could record 20 minutes, about, usually it's about 20 to 30 minutes. So, a total of two hours for both channels, or an hour for both channel, for a video. And then you generate probably 30 minutes for thumbnails, editing thumbnails and all that. So, now you're down to, okay, I get out of school I, at 3.30, get home at 4, start recording, 4 till about 5, 5.30, just depends kind of on the night, depending on what I'm doing. Sometimes I get distracted and start texting people, you know. I got a busy life, you know, might sit down and do homework, not generally do that, not usually do that. Because I'd rather do YouTube and kind of work on my career more towards the career and not necessarily school because probably should kind of focus a little bit on school but not a whole lot I just generally most people don't like school my opinion on it is some days you don't understand what's going on so you just kind of forget about the day and think about the positive things for me that's to come home and record videos make some money off recording videos you know read the positive comments and all the comments on squad farms and all that rather than come home and deal with all the drama that's been going on like we'll bring I suppose we'll bring Nick into this for a little bit he streamed a couple days ago and I, I've been knowing that he's been streaming and stuff you know he streams and kinda just antagonizes and kinda not really he's the type of guy who doesn't make fun of people well we don't know that for sure but he's the type of guy that kinda goes in and is like uh kind of joking around he just does jokes like I don't know but some of you guys probably seen it most of you guys probably have and listened to him before mainly in streams he does it because people in the chat you know bring it up so then everybody's like oh yeah look at this look at this so really so then when that goes on it's kind of hard to push forward because technically bullying some people think it's bullying I just kinda think it is so what big deal he's not just a grown adult and he just is still a kid I kinda think of him as still a kid I kinda think myself as still a kid but I wanna prove to the older people we'll say more and Squaz Spencer all those guys you know they're more they're in their 20s 20 to 30s range I'm pretty sure I don't think anybody's 30 more no nah, he's not I think he's like 25, I'm not sure, but anyway, that's kind of the whole deal and why we're not posting, because Nick's, we got drama on the tournament, because Nick got kicked off the tournament, banned from the tournament, I don't even know, don't even really want to start talking about that, I just don't see the point of doing this channel much longer, because he... I don't see the point of doing the channel much longer when it's kind of hurting me in a way and on my channel I could go and post a 30 minute video daily on there and kind of do my own type of thing which is kind of what I like I mean that's kind of what I do on squad farms you know I post the same content on my channel as I do here on the squad farms nothing really changes maybe once in a while I'll kind of get fed up with squad farms because Nick's doing all this stuff kind of get a little irritated then I might put a little better content on there or on my channel you know try a little hard I always do try you always can try things and new things that's kind of what squad said he's like just take a month off kind of think about what you could try and change and kind of do and improve on but that everything takes time and time is kind of what I don't really have at the moment but if I posted on my channel just by myself I think I'd be more happier and better off if I was to post on there a 30 minute video daily because I wouldn't have to deal with Nick or Squad or anybody however I would be able to go and help other people out make videos like collaborate with people because I'd have more time now I could go over and say hey Squad you want to go record a video I'd be like yeah sure you know so then I could go play with Squad get more people to come to my channel and get some people to come from my, ch from my channel to his channel, I mean not a lot because mainly the majority of them come from there, but a few of them, you know, tag along, a couple, 
couple subs tend to not know who Squad is or know the farming community. But overall, I mean, Squad's top... He's number one in the... We call it the community, the farming simulator community. He has half a million subscribers, and Daggerwin was first, but he kind of... I don't know what happened with that, or what... how that gets going, but he got all that, and so... So he passed Daggerwin. So Daggerwin's second. I don't even know who's third or fourth or fifth, but I kind of want to, you know, be still be friends with him, but, like also go ahead and be you know still listen to him and kind of follow some of the stuff that he tells me to do um, some stuff I agree on some stuff I don't it's kinda of like the thumbnail thing he says change this or change that and really it's based on his community because if he posts those thumbnails on squads channel and gives a shout out for you viewers to go to this squad farms channel then they're expecting to see thumbnails more like his rather than mine. So that's kind of why mine's not really... Mine's getting views, about average views. In fact, it's getting a little more than what it did in FS17. So I have improved on that. But due to me and Nick posting different types of thumbnails, different types of content, I feel like that it's just kind of like fighting, kind of like the views are just fighting I call them daily views like everybody watches it so every every thousand people watch my content a hundred percent and everything Nick does everybody watches that a hundred percent and so oh, I didn't even repair the fork Darn it. and so like you know so those are kinda of your dailies but then if you make a good thumbnail then some of your other people that are subscribed come in because they think because they think oh yeah that's a good thumbnail I should watch this video and see what's going on and some days I don't know why I can't repair that phone's freaking out it tends to generally do that video just got posted that's what's going on people are commenting in the discord chats but what I'd like to do I don't know why that didn't fix that's kinda weird that's odd but Anyway, that's probably enough rambling. This is an hour recording. I've been kind of, you know, I get distracted a lot. You guys can probably hear my phone go off a lot. And it generally does just because I don't mute it. And, you know, I talk to people when I'm recording, you know, Snapchat them and stuff. Just because that's kind of how I am. I just, you know, just chill and hang back and text people. And basically I try and do everything, keep everybody happy or try to keep people happy. And try not to stir too much trouble because when you get, when you say something bad about someone and it gets out there, it's kind of, it's not good because that makes you look like a bad person, makes them look bad, makes you think that you're kind of like a bully technically. It's kind of cyberbullying. I'm not going to get into all that kind of stuff because there's been a lot of that going on, especially on this channel. And I really don't want the reputation to be that and mainly what I think why Nick's doing this bullying thing and kinda like doing that is because he's trying to draw attention to himself so he could get more viewers and subscribers cause he's kinda smart like if you talk to him he's kinda smart some days and then other days it's like what are you on you know so it's very confusing on it's just a different type of person you know everybody's different that's just how we are you know my content you know, I think my content's better than everybody else's. However, everybody else thinks my content's crap. So, it's all opinion based on YouTube. It's whoever likes who more. It's not generally, okay, this dude is the best. You know, he's awesome. He's perfect. I'm going to watch him every day. Not everyone will think that. Everyone will think different about different YouTubers. For instance, oh yeah, Squad's the best person. However, we don't like his community we don't like Nick or we don't like Tarbog or we don't like Spencer you know and that's kind of the way and squad never generally says no he's just too nice of a guy he's kinda of like me you know I can picture him thinking in his head what why are we doing this why are we doing all this cuz 
I could see him doing that being like why asking himself why I did this to myself and I do that a lot of times too and I'm like why don't I tell people about this and some people I do tell I just don't tell like the full story because it's hard to get a person's perspective on things like say because I think of my own things in my own terms so like this I don't know how to it's hard to explain things to people like I can't generally explain things so like this all today was probably pretty good video long video I don't know we'll see how it turns out I'm gonna be banking one more for the last day of January January 31st there's 31 days in January so yeah we're gonna buy some equipment in the next video so if you guys do want to go check out my last FS19 video possibly on squad farms we'll see how that goes it'll hopefully pan out in the end and I'll be able to do some stuff like I said I wish I could stream wish I could do some stuff you can always hope and wish and you can always try so therefore anyway hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did hit that like button and we will see you all in the next